the Grand Inga Hydroelectric Power Project. The Grand Inga Hydroelectric Power Project is a massive 80 billion expansion to the existing 351 megawatt Inga 1 and the 1424 megawatt Inga 2 plants in the Democratic Republic of Congo that were commissioned in 1972 and 1982 respectively. The Grand Inga Hydroelectric Power Project, which mainly involves the construction of a series of six additional dams, is set for development across the Congo River, the world's second largest in terms of flow after the Amazon and the second longest river in Africa. It is estimated that the vertical drop, the volume and velocity of water flow at this site can support a series of hydroelectric power stations each with a generation capacity ranging from 4 to 8 gigawatts. The project will be implemented in six development phases starting with the construction of Inga 3. The latter will be constructed in two sub-phases, initially a low head and then a high head extending the dam walls and making it higher. There will be no closure of the Congo River nor the construction of tunnels, just an open channel. Approximately 6,000 cubic meters per second will be diverted for Inga 3 to a valley that runs parallel to the river. When completed, Inga 3 will have the capacity to produce 4,800 megawatts of electricity. The construction of successive phases of, a of Grand Inga will hinge on the availability of a market and funding for the project, the design of which allows independent development of the power stations in the series as well as the phase development of each station. Upon completion, the entire project is expected to produce up to 42 gigawatts of electricity, which is over twice the power generation capacity of the Three Gorges Dam in China, which at present is the biggest hydropower project in the world and more than a third of the total electricity currently produced in the whole of Africa. And that is all that we have on the Grand Inga Hydroelectric Power Project. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so that you don't have to miss out on any of our upcoming videos on the building and construction industry around the world.